Hello people, my name is Dennis and I'm going to show you how to create a professional resume using Microsoft Word. First, let's take a look at this resume and then we will use uh, a blank page to build same as this one. As you can see, my address goes to the top. Then follow my summary, like uh, um, introduction, telling the employer what you are about to do to uh, to contribute to the uh, uh, the company. Then it goes to my education history, followed by my work history. Then go by my skills my computer skills and interests. So if you are on the same page as I am, let's get started. Before we get started, let me show you some technique that I use. And I'm going, I will show you at the end of this tutorial, I will show you templates from Microsoft Word that uses the same technique that I use. Uh, first, uh, I'll, sh I'll click this and I'll show you. As you can see, all these are in line. And over here to all these are in line. You can see this words. These words are in bold and they follow the same order. So I'm going to show you how I did this. First, I'll click on this one and I'll go to my table properties and I'll go to borders and shading. And I'll click all, all borders so that I'll bring the table out. As you can see, I use table for this resume and table makes perfect organization of uh, your resume so you can see it just fits everything is in order I I have gotten the things where I needed them to be it's just perfect this is a way of organizing something structured so we're gonna do this same we're gonna use the same concept so I have opened a blank database uh, document let's put in a table And go to the insert button, the table button, and I'll put I'll use three columns and the rows. I don't mind, I can use a lot. So first we're gonna be doing some copying and paste. First thing I need is my name, second address, third telephone number, fourth email address so let's do this okay don't worry about the font and all that we will do that later and the address You can move uh, the lines so that it fits. And I'll go by uh, telephone number. I'll just put whatever. And I'll go uh, my email address. Now I have gotten this. And make sure now I want to merge this table into one single piece so I have highlighted all this and I'll right click and I'll click match cells now you can see this is by itself 
let's put some tone in it. Now it's beginning to get some shape. Okay, now let's go back to my resume. We're gonna leave this summary and the intro right here, then education. So let's do this summary. Education. And this one, I'm gonna merge this cell too to make it one big cell. And I will uh, make it big so that all the things can fit. Let's go and copy this. Copy. And now I'll come back here and paste. I you should I used a shortcut. Control V to paste it in case you didn't see it. Now let's fold this a little bit. Make it look nice. And let's go back to the my resume and let me point something out. As you can see, the education area has three columns. That's education. That's the intro, the mid, and the outro. That's how I group it. So we're gonna need three columns. One, two, and three. Okay. Let's do this. So we're gonna need this to go here a little bit. And this is gonna be the year. Uh, let's copy and paste the first one. Copy. Paste. Gonna do that to all of them. Copy. Paste. Oh, this one. Copy. And paste. Now I need the mid, the middle piece. Let's copy. Sorry about that. Let's copy the first one. You don't have to copy. I'm just showing you. It's uh, it's a way of illustrating to you what you have to put in this area. You have to put your own in here, especially your education. Bring this a little bit to the back. Let's copy the second one. Paste it here. Let's do that to the third one. Now, 
you see it has not it has not begin to take form and we're gonna make it nice okay now we need more tables We need more tables. You can either do this in sets. In set below. And it will keep uh then you click again in set below. Or you can come up here, pick up a table, then insert it right here. But for now, let's do this in set below. <sighs> okay, what do we need? Now we need the work history. Let's put that in work. History. And how many columns um, do we use? Do we need Sorry. one, two? Depending on how many jobs you have had, you can have more than I have. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, and five. I have five. So, I might need five columns. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. And let's start copying and paste. The last one, copy. Paste. Copy, paste, copy, paste. I'm using a shortcut so you can do it manually. Copy. Paste the last one, copy then paste. Okay, now I need the middle part. Let's do the same thing, copy and paste. Copy. Paste. Copy. Paste. Sorry about that. I need to get my charger. Very quickly. I'm back. Let's continue. And we're gonna need this copy paste. Copy. Paste. 
text. And the last one, copy. Then paste. You can also, if it's not fit, you see, on the paper, it's gonna start from here. That is this one. You use this one to control. If you want to go out, outward, you just drag to the corner. But I'm not gonna drag this one. So I need uh, a little bit of this place out. And so that I can move this a little bit. Now. I need more I need more tables so I'm gonna highlight this then insert below let me see how many um, tables I need for this I need only um, two only two tables so let's do this another one another table below and this is computer interest computer skills and this is interest so let's copy let's do some copying and paste oh sorry about that I'm just clicking. Copy this. And paste. And the last one. Copy. Then paste. You can have uh, another one which a lot of people do I will show you let's call references reference and you can uh, put in um, reference one over here one I will name it one One, then uh, we set another table below. Then the second reference goes here. I'm not gonna do that one. Um, put in any tempo reference, but I'm showing you how you can add reference to your. Your resume. And um, let's get this. Bold and nice. Now everything looks cool. We gonna hide the tables. We're gonna hide the tables so that it looks like um, there is no table. So here we are in our new resume. This is what we just created. As you can see. Let's hide the tables. Click on this one. You right click the mouse. 
then you go to table properties then you go to borders and shading click then you click none and click ok ok now this is our new resume looks completely nice formatted like professional As you can see, looks very beautiful, isn't it? 